Welcome back to the Wolfsburg career mode, guys. We have Modric. I know. I know. I'm going to keep saying it. It's mind blowing. We've got Luka Modric. We've got Luka Modric. I'm kidding. I'm just doing this to wind up the people that said I went on about it in the last episode. Of course, it's looking like a much stronger team now, isn't it? With Lodi at left back as well. Vega coming in. Almada's going to be playing through the middle now. Plata up to 82 rated. LaCroix 82 rated. We're looking in very good shape right now, but our first game is a tough one. The first game of this episode, I should say. We've already kicked off the season with one win. I'd love to get two wins out of two, but it is Freiburg. And they're a good size. They were right with us at the end of last season. So hopefully we can put in a good performance today and we'll try and finish off the transfer window as well. Oh, and by the way, someone mentioned it in the comments. Um, they asked why I haven't done new kits. And honestly... I don't have an answer to that. It just completely slipped my mind. I just haven't done new kits, but I think it's probably too late to do that now. So we'll do new kits in season three. Um, and to be fair, though, I really like the current kits. So I'm happy to, to go again. I love this orange kit. I'm not going to change up the lineup. That is exactly what I'm going to use. Looking at the Freiburg setup, I don't know if they've made any big signings. But last time we played them, Ginter and Lionheart were absolutely incredible at centre-back, so I'm expecting a tough game for sure. This is our first away game, is it not? Was our first game a home game? I'm not going to lie to you guys, I recorded that last Thursday, so it's been four days. And let's just say a lot has happened in the last few days, including the World Cup final yesterday, which was, in my opinion, one of the best football matches I have ever watched. I don't know what happened to France in the first kind of 60, 70 minutes. I think they did claim they had some sort of virus going around. A few players have been unwell, so that probably didn't help. But man, what a game. Extra time was incredible. And then to go down to penalties and Leo Messi, World Cup winner, undisputed, greatest of all time, if you ask me now. So, um, yeah, it's fair to say that I haven't really been thinking about the Wolfsburg career mode so much over the last few days. It's just been all World Cup and I'm so sad it's over. I think I mentioned it just before it started or just after it started that I just wasn't feeling it this year that's offside just felt it felt weird to me having a world cup at this time of year and of course where it was being held was very controversial but I must say it turned into I think the greatest world cup I've ever watched and I've watched every single one since 2002 so yeah unbelievable really really incredible game yesterday but Argentina deserved it in the end. I feel like it was the right the right winners. Oh, I almost got through there. We've got it back. Vega up to Lodi. Going to get that cross in. It's not the best delivery ever. Oh, no. This is a problem. Oh, I've missed the tackle. Oh, and again. Can't switch to the right player. Thankfully, Castiles is there. What an absolute legend of a goalkeeper he's proving to be in this series. And now... Plata can get forward. Over to Modric. It's such a bad pass. What is wrong with me? Here comes Traore. That's offside, surely. No? Well, Castiles is there, so it's fine. Looks like we're going to be going into the break. Nil-nil. Yep, the referee blows his whistle there. Do you know what? I haven't been able to get Almada on the ball at all. World Cup winner Almada, by the way. Did he play a single minute? I'm not actually sure. But that is also a problem as well. Nemecha has not had a shot. I've really, really struggled to get him in the game. Honestly, my most dangerous player in this game so far has been Lodi. He's been the one getting in behind and trying to get things happening. And that says a lot when it's your left back, you know. <laughs> right, here's Plata. He's been able to get on the run a few times. We're going to use Nemecha here for a 1-2. It has worked beautifully, but I don't think we're going to get in behind here. We might be able to. Hang on. Just dink it in. Okay, that's fine. We'll take the corner. I think we're going to get an in-swinger here from the captain. It's a good ball. It was very good. Unlu unlucky, really. Plata now with the shot. Just wide. Once again, Lodi getting forward. The young Brazilian. Not so young now, I guess. Pulling it back. Oh, to Modric. Can you get the shot away? He can, but it's saved. How old is Lodi? I swear he's 25. He's still kind of young. <laughs> Another corner coming in from Arnold. Nemec is the target again, but it's going to fall for Van der... No, it's Almada, not Van der Ven. His platter on his right foot. That was definitely not on target. And that header was not very good either. Okay, Baku's in now. I've not really had an opportunity to run with him. He's, he's through. Finish it. Oh, my God. 
I, I don't even know what to say. Loddy has been doing this the whole game. I have not once got Baku in behind. He gets in behind for the first time in this game and he scores it. It's, it's terrible defending from Ginter, really. He's followed players into the box instead of covering. Okay, let's let's make some changes now. I'm actually going to switch Almada and Vega around. I think Almada might actually be better suited on the left side. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Almada's got a, a little bit higher pace. Ooh, that's a tricky one. We'll, we'll see how he gets on with that. I'm also going to bring in Vranks for Modric. Unfortunately, with Modric, he will come off early. Well, not early, but he'll come off quite a lot because obviously he is a bit of an older player and his stamina will deteriorate a little bit. We'll bring on Cherky as well. And uh, let's go with Vind for Nemecha, who hasn't really had a very impactful game. Here is Vranks. I want to call him Vrank X. I can't be the only one that sees that when I see his name. Vrank X. <laughs> Vranks. Vranks. Get used to saying it. Here's Almada. Knocking it over to the right side in for Cherky. That was close. That was so close. Vega was about to unleash a shot. Already that switch from Almada and Vega seems to work. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll keep an eye on things. We'll try them both in different positions. They can both play in those positions absolutely fine. Vega can play as a striker as well, which is a potential option for us if Nemecha or Vind don't really do it. Oh, no. No. Castiles makes the save. There's only seven minutes left. Just trying to kill some time here. Not long until the final whistle will blow. Why do I get a bad feeling about this? Oh no. Come on, Loddy. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We should be fine. No, we're not. We're not fine. The shot comes in. That's that's fine. Okay. It's a win, but I'm not happy with the performance. We struggled massively. I'm not really quite sure why. Um, I mean, the changes we made at the end seem to help a little bit. So, yeah, I think Almada on the left, Vega through the middle. We're going to give it a go in the next match. I have completely forgotten how much money we've got left. 39 million. Oh, my God. We can still do a lot with that. But I think I've said it a few times. I feel like I'm kind of done with the transfer window this season or at the start, at least. So I, I don't know. Is there anything I should be doing? I feel like I'm missing out on an opportunity to to bring in someone really good. But anyway, let's go through our emails here. Just match being rescheduled three times. Uh, a few players leaving for international duty, of course. But we do have Bayern now. We've both won our opening games. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. As I said, Vega will play through the middle. Almada will go out on the left. Uh, otherwise, it seems silly to change up the team. Although I quite enjoyed Cherky when he came on. Oh, this is a tricky one. Do I... Do I change it up completely? I might actually drop Nemecha for this one. I'm thinking, right? What if we try Vega as a striker? Why not? I mean, it, that's part of the fun of having these kind of players that can play in multiple positions. Why not? We'll give him a go. And worst case, we can throw on Nemecha or Vind. Okay. And yeah, otherwise, we'll leave it as it is. Unfortunately, they're not going to get perfect positioning points <laughs> but a plus two for Vega that's fine ideally you don't face Bayern so early on in the season although you kind of just get it out of the way I guess I don't know now what would you rather play Bayern later in the season or do you play them early and just get it done <laughs> what I mean is they're going to get on a roll of form and and you know you don't want to play them when they've won eight in a row or do you because they get complacent see there's you can throw it either way. I guess you just don't want to play Bayern in general. But here we are. They will undoubtedly win the title again this season. But we can try and slow them down. I can actually feel like we can potentially cause an upset here. Here's Masrawi. The cross comes in and it's 1-0. So about that upset. Um, Mane seems to be trying to upset me. Just five minutes into the game and we're losing already. So that's, that's always nice. I haven't even touched the ball. Brilliant. That's beautiful from Modric into Plata here. Come on, instant equaliser. Cherky through the gap. Into the box now. That's how you defend a cross. Get players in the way, you know. Would have been nice if we could have done that. Here is Plata again. Over to Baku. Winner from the last game. Runs straight into Davies. Okay, put, put Neuer under some pressure. And the defenders just make it difficult for them to play out. 
they're still just going to do it perfectly anyway. Look at that. And now Mane is through again. Where is Van der Ven going? Oh, my God. Awful defending. He just ran away. Okay, let's see if we can make this count. I'm, I'm having my shirt pulled here, but Davies is actually struggling to keep up with Plata. Oh, my God, Plata. No, you did not just put it that wide. That is shocking. Absolutely shocking. That's the difference between having someone like Mane up front and not. If that was Mane, that's in. Simple as that, really. Oh, here we go again. Carrasco up against LaCroix. Passes it inside. Here's Goretzka. Turns. It could be 3-0 already. Probably should be, although we should have scored as well. Okay, well, we'll call it 3-1. <laughs> no, I'd rather take a 1-0 at the moment, actually. Cherky through the middle, maybe. Put it over the top. Go on. Oh, my God. So close. So, so close. We've got it back again. Go over on the left side this time. Can we get the overlap? Yes, Lodi's in. Someone explain to me why he just stopped. Why did he just stop running? I don't understand that at all. Not that he would have scored, but... Oh, terrible. I can't believe that. He, he just left the ball behind? Corner now for Bayern. If they score here, probably game over, isn't it? Okay, Castiles has grabbed it. Let's go. Just pass that one out to Van der Ven. I'm just going to use his pace. He's quick. Look at him go. Look at <laughs> Van der Ven, my centre-back. He's rapid. He's almost been fouled as well. This is actually working. We're, we're on the break. Still in possession of the ball. Oh, my God. Almada. No. I tried to go around Delict. It has not worked. He's stepped in. Oh. Oh. I could have had, an, had a chance to win that there. Damn. Bayern are just toying with me. It feels like they're just playing, honestly. We're going to get one more chance before half time if we quick. Speaking of quick, look who it is. Platter up against Davies again. I'm going back post. No. Maybe I should have had a shot. Well, clearly I should have. Okay. Well, to be fair, at 1-0 down, the game is still very much there. But, um, yeah, we've been plastered a few times, haven't we? They're just so clinical. Bayern are starting the second half well here. Keeping the ball, as you'd expect. I should really be closing them down faster than this. They're just giving too much time. But it doesn't seem to matter, no matter what I do. They're just very good at keeping the ball. Don't let them shoot. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Pull the keeper out and try. Nope, 2-0. They just ping the ball around, and they get through those little gaps in defence. If you step up like I did there, you're going to concede. And it's two goals for Mane, and it's going to be three points dropped because we're not winning this game. We're not scoring three, let alone in just one half that's already started. Yeah, this is... It's going to be really tough. We can try and make it respectable... Unreal. Absolutely unreal. It's a hat trick for Mane. We're getting destroyed. I used the word plastered before. We're getting plastered here. And if you don't know what that is, I mean, it's more of a UK saying. It's normally like if you're getting drunk, you're getting plastered. You're getting destroyed. You're getting wrecked. <laughs> okay, they've just made a change. I think I'm going to do the same, funnily enough. Uh, I don't think Vega has... I mean, he's probably touched the ball twice. It's not working. But I don't think any striker gets much action against Bayern, so it is what it is. I'm going to take off Plata and put Cherky on the right, and I'm going to put Nemetra in and swap him with Vega. All right, let's let's um, let's do that. Maybe I should bring in a midfielder as well. Oh, I don't know. We're just going to stick with this for now. It's over. I mean, why do I even... Why am I even worried about it? Why do I care? It's 3-0 down against Bayern. It, it's just not salvageable at all. <laughs> and Mane's in for his fourth. Oh, my God. I don't want to watch that back. Please. Let's just... No, get out of my face, Sadio. Not interested. Yeah, you're very good. Yeah, you're better than all my players. Yeah, yeah. Actually, hang on. We have Modric, <laughs> who's barely touched the ball in this game. 4-0 at home. I'm getting sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning. As if I actually claimed I could cause an upset 
at the start of this match. Yeah, what about that now, eh? I, I can't even string four passes together. It's stupid of me to say anything remotely close to that. What I should have said is, I'm most likely going to lose this game, but I will try my absolute best not to. It doesn't matter what I do, though. They just brought on Upamecano. Like, come on. <laughs> they're, they're just so, so strong, and I'm nowhere near their level still, even after a very good transfer window. Can barely pass the ball out. Look at this. I probably shouldn't. I should just do this. Just lump it, lump it forward and hope that we get the ball like this. There we go. This is it now. Just a consolation goal would be nice, actually. Modric. Can't even find a pass with him. If, if Modric can't find a pass, you've got no chance. He's the best player on the pitch. Maybe Kimmich as well in terms of vision and passing. But come on, man. This has been one to forget, guys. We, we, don't, we don't need to remember this one. You know, later on in the season, this game never happened. We won't bring it up. 4-0. <laughs> and Mane. I mean, it's a 10 out of 10 from him. Unreal. Well, we are coming towards the end of the transfer window. We've had a loan to buy offer for Paradez. I mean, I, I kind of want to keep hold of him just because he might be a good option for us. But let's be real. I've got youth academy players that are better than him or will be better than him very soon. And um, I don't really have a spot for this guy in the team. I've got a lot of wingers that are left footed. I almost feel like this guy could be maybe more of a left wing back. I don't know. I think I might actually just accept this. Yeah, I think I will. It's fine. We'll, we'll try and get close to a million euros for it. But yeah, it, it's it's a player that I'm okay with potentially losing. So, deadline day. Having experienced that delightful 4-0 loss, all of a sudden I'm feeling a little bit different about my team. <laughs> um, I probably should be investing that money we've got. We've literally got a huge amount of money sitting there and I've got players like Franjic being my reserve DM and Fisher being a, another right back. You know, it's it's not ideal, is it? Um, okay, straight away, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking all the comments I've seen in Discord as well, people talking about striker, striker, striker. Um, we could. We could bring in a striker. Vind is good. I like Vind. But he's never, ever in a million years going to carry me to a Champions League title. Is Nemecha going to do that? I think he's got potential to still be very, very good for us. 81 rated and he's 24 years old. So what I'm thinking now is maybe Vind is our reserve striker. Nemecha is our bench striker. And then we buy a new one. A shiny new striker. It is quite tempting. But it feels like I've really just gutted the Wolfsburg team. Although, that's not the problem. Is It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to play a career mode. I need to bring in some good players. I think maybe we do. We look at strikers. We've got the young Polish striker we, we could include in a deal. So, um, let's try and spend this money, shall we? The first thing I'm thinking of doing is just stealing a striker from one of our main rivals. Um, Muani. Had a very interesting World Cup, didn't he? He looks like a very good player. I know, I know he, he should have scored in that final in the last few minutes. And France would have won the World Cup. It's crazy, isn't it? I'm going to scout him. He could be insane. Like, genuinely insane. But um, weakening... I mean, the thing is, Frankfurt, they're obviously a very good side. But I need to be weakening Bayern, Dortmund, RB Leipzig... It's just not actually that easy to do that because they've got, you know, obviously some of the best players in the world that I just simply cannot afford. Uh, yeah, I, d I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Let's sign Mane, yeah? Andre Silva? Very good player, of course. Uh, Turam, oh my God. I said I'd sign him at some point. Gosh, that could be a good one. Two French strikers added. Timo Werner, I'm not going to sign him. And obviously, it doesn't need to be a, a a Bundesliga player. We could look elsewhere. Honestly, I don't think there's anyone in the Premier League that I'd want to sign. Oh, let's get Ronaldo, guys. Him and Modric linking back up. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think the Premier League is looking interesting at the moment for any signings. 
I mean, Julian Alvarez would be incredible. Man, what a player. I, I saw a picture of him getting a shirt signed by Messi when he was like 10. He's just won the World Cup with him. Do you know how mental that is? It it's crazy, isn't it, how these things happen? Just shows how, how long Messi's been playing at the top level, I guess. Okay, let's have a look at France. Ooh, Jonathan David. Okay, that's a good shout. We'll add him as well. I've just seen that Mukoku's gone to PSG. Is that even how you say it? Mukoko? Mukoko? Mukoku? I don't know why I want to say Mukoku. But uh, yeah, that, that would have been something else. But he is, of course, at PSG now. I mean, we could potentially loan. <laughs> we could potentially loan him in. Um, is he going to be at the level I'm looking for, though? I'm kinda, I kind of want like an 83, 84 rated, you know, if I can afford that. And now lastly, we're going to take a look through the Spanish league. Although I think I've already found players that I'm most keen on. Although, ooh. Now, he's linked with a move to Wolves at the moment in the Premier League. And apparently other clubs are interested as well. So maybe we could bring in Cunha. Cunha? Cunha? I need to learn how to say his name. He could be insane. Him and Lodi coming in. Angel Correa as well. Oh, man, I remember signing him so long ago. I think it was in my Rangers career mode. Many, many, many years ago. And now he's an absolute baller. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anyone else, guys. I've gone through a lot of leagues and... I found some really good options. I don't I don't feel like I need any more. Let's just go for it. Let's see if we can get a deal done here on deadline day. So, oh, I'd still love to get Sal in. So we don't need left back, so we can get rid of those two. So we've got Muani. Um, he looks like a really good player, but I feel like I can potentially do better here. Turam, I mean... The thing with Turam, and I know I'm going to dislike it, is just how kind of big he is, how clunky he's going to feel. I kind of feel like I want someone a bit a bit more nippy, a bit more agile, like a Jonathan David. I'm actually going to remove Moani and Turam now. I don't, I don't want to sign them. Now, Mukoko, I, I just... I don't... I Nah, I'm not feeling that. Nah, he, he's, he's too good, you know? And that leaves Lazatic, who, let's face it, isn't going to be high enough rated. Six foot four as well. Probably a bit clunky. I don't like using that word clunky because it's not necessarily a bad thing. If you've got a really powerful striker that's good in the air, it doesn't matter if he's clunky, right? But I'm not really looking for that. So it's kind of narrowed it down now to Jonathan David and Cunha. Kun Cunha. Um, yeah, I, I think I might be going for this guy here. I... Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> let's get him in. He's an absolute gem of a player. He's so, so good in FIFA. He's good in real life, of course. I am going to try and offer the young Polish striker we've got. I've got no idea what to offer here. That's the problem. I don't know how expensive he is. Um. Okay, there's one way to find out. It's a bit, It's a bit of a cheesy way to do this. If I offer Nemecha, I should get roughly his value back. I'm not actually going to sell Nemecha. Okay, so they're looking for at least 40 to 50 million. I know that now. So now, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll try the young Polish guy and practically all my money. We'll go 35? What do you reckon? 35? Oh, it's going to be really interesting to see how this goes. Oh, no chance. No chance. Okay, it's going to be cash. Straight up cash. Pretty much all I've got. 35. I can probably squeeze in 37. And then we will go with a sell-on clause of 15%. Come on, Simeone. Okay, we're very close. They want to come back to us. We are so close. But... I really hope that they come back soon because we are in deadline day. I can't afford to wait too long. Let's see what happens. And Dombele's moved for like 30 million. God, what happened to him? He looked so good. Oh. Okay. They're happy with it. Oh my God, I was expecting him to ask for maybe a little bit more. And I was 
getting a little bit worried. But no, they've, they've accepted the offer. They clearly want the cash. And I'm going to try and make this happen. Lodi and Kunha coming in the same window from Atletico Madrid. And I'm not giving them anyone. <laughs> a four-year deal, I mean, that's fine. He's 24 years old. He's, he's going to be elite for us. He really is. And the fact that he can play left mid, Cam, he's just, yeah, he's going to be so good. Uh, the issue we've got now is his wage. Uh, I mean, he's going to be want, he's, he's going to want to be one of my highest paid players. I'm going to throw in, oh no, oh no. Oh, I can't afford him. Okay, hang on. It's not the end of the world. If he declines this, we just go again. Oh, no, because we won't be allowed. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, he's, he's mad. He's fuming. Absolutely fuming. And now I won't be able to go back in with another offer. No, I can't believe that. And he's going to be more expensive in the next window for sure. Okay. Um... Oh, I should have released a player or something just to, to get a little bit more money in the wages. Of course, it would have cost me a little bit. I, I don't know if we were going to be able to do that, guys. Okay. Do we try Jonathan David instead? Because to be quite honest with you, they're very similar players. Maybe Jonathan David is the way to go here. But again, I just don't know how much to offer. It's so stressful, but I love it. We've missed out on a player because we couldn't afford his wages. Really sucks. Okay, so we're going to go in with... Maybe we should try the same thing again. We'll offer a straight... Sw oh, no, because what if it just goes through straight away? Like, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> no, I can't risk it this time. Because I knew Nemetra isn't worth anywhere near the same as Cunha. But I think Jonathan David is probably a similar value. So I guess we will do... The Polish guy plus... 25? <laughs> I literally have no idea how much to put in here. It's so last minute. Okay. They're looking for around 40. Everyone wants Almada. Yeah, no chance, mate. No chance. I don't really have any other players that I'm looking to sell at the moment. Gerhardt, maybe? So I've got one, two, three, four... Five, six. Oh, we, we could. We could do Gerhardt. Potentially. But no, I don't really want to. I don't have any wingers that I want to get rid of other than Paradez. Centre backs, I've got only four. Fisher. Mm, he's not worth anything. That's the problem. Vind. I like Vind. I, th I think he's actually a very good option, but I just won't use him, will I? He just won't get used as much. I think, uh, unfortunately, it might just be the best thing to do here. And then just go like, you know, 13.5. Okay, they don't want him. All right, well, at least we know we can afford this. Um, we will bring this down just a touch to 31.5. And actually, no, no, no. We'll put this up to 15. And this can come down to like 28.5. Go on. It's better. We can do one last try here, I think. 30 mil plus the 5%. Nice. Okay. It's meant to be, guys, that we go for David instead. It's easier to say his name. All right? <laughs> That's just such a stupid thing to say, but it's true. At least I won't struggle saying his name. Jonathan David. Done. Unless it's David. What if it is David. <laughs> We're going to go with important. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we'll go with a four-year deal. That's cool. Accept. No release clause needed. Oh, he's cheap. He's cheap, guys. This is what we want to see. 40k. And I'll sweeten the deal. 450,000. Do the deal. Oh, it's close. It's close. It's close. 45 then. Saving a little bit. It all adds up, guys. Because it works differently now, the finances. They're, they're kind of one number split. And it's done. We've got a new striker coming in. Unbelievable, guys. On deadline day. And again, it's just 
the same cutscene every time. Awkward. Surely they can add on to this at some point. Just put in another cutscene. Look, again, it's so rude. Sorry, mate. I'm, I'm just on my phone. I know you're my brand new elite striker that we've just blown our budget on, but I've got some tweeting to do. Sorry. It's rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> but um, welcome to the club. How much of a rating are we going to get here? Surely this is at least a B. It's an A. Who would have thought? Really, really good player. And we should probably sell either Vind or the Polish guy. I'm sorry, Kunha. Kunia. Kunha. It's not going to work out. And Gibral Sal. I haven't, I haven't decided not to go for you yet. Imagine him and Modric together. Because Arnold, I think, sometimes is a little bit... Um, Average, which I know it sounds bad, but, you know, I'm just being honest. Okay, so what we can do now is put up for sale Vind and the Polish guy, and we'll see who we sell first. And I know it's disrespectful calling him just the Polish guy, but um, I don't know how to say his name. We're going to give Jonathan David number nine, of course. And let's just change his number. We've got number six available. Interesting. Uh, 26, there we go. And then we'll transfer list him. And no, we'll keep Vind. We don't we don't need to sell both of them or, you know, list both of them and risk upsetting them. Vimmer is just six weeks away from coming back, guys. Get in there. So now we just run down the, the next seven hours or so. Are we going to get any offers coming in for players that I have shortlisted? Probably not. Doesn't look likely at this point. PSG have just signed some random centre mid. Did you see that? I need to see who that is. Um, I can just press Y here, can't I? Who was that that they just signed? Uh, it's going to be difficult to find it now, isn't it? It was just some random, I think Danish centre mid, 17 years old, has just gone to PSG. I, I'm never going to be able to find it. Maybe it'll pop back up again. Keep an eye in the top right corner. Just weird, weird signings. Barcelona investing in a young right back as well. Fekir has gone to Atletico Madrid. Wow. No wonder they wanted to sell Cunha. Maybe they needed the money. <laughs> but they've they've got both of them now. Arsenal have just signed a 32-year-old goalkeeper. Okay, then. Makes sense. And I guess that is going to be it, guys. Transfer window done. I didn't think I would bring anyone else in. But, um, you know, I, did, I do read the comments. I know I don't always respond to comments. And I do use the Discord more. But, um... I saw people saying you need a striker. I did. I saw it. We still can't bring in Klein, unfortunately, but he's 70 rated. He's, he's ready. He's ready to play. And I don't think Weber is too bad. Okay. We'll keep them uh, in the youth academy training and things like that. But um, I think that's the end of this episode. We've got reports back on Turam 81, Muani 80. Yeah, do you know what? Very good players, but I'm happy with David. And I haven't even checked his rating. I'm guessing he's 80? Something like that. But of course, he will fly up those ranks very quickly. He is 80 rated. So if we compare him with Nemecha, uh, he's a bit quicker. Roughly the same shooting. Slightly better for Nemecha. Better passer, better dribbler. Um, same weak foot, same skill moves. I mean, they're quite similar. I think what we're going to see, though, is just purely because David is a little bit smaller and he will feel quicker, that he's just going to get into positions more. And I, I, I think he, he probably will be the starting striker for me now. And Nemecha goes to the bench. I feel kind of bad about it because Nemecha is one of the old school career mode gems that I picked up. But if you remember correctly, eventually when I got into the Premier League with, I think it was Sunderland, wasn't it? He suddenly wasn't very good. So, I don't know. Scout report back on Cunha now. 82. So, slightly better. Mukoku, 73. Lazacic, oh, he's 70. Lazacic definitely wouldn't have been the right call. Either way, thank you so much for watching, guys. We kick off the Europa League campaign in the next episode, and we're playing against bottom of the league as well, which is very nice indeed. It's been a very good episode for us. I know we lost 4-0 to Bayern, um, but to bring in a new striker, as good as David, I think he's going to come very good for us. And we can play him out on that left side as well if we need to at Cam. He's going to be a really good, versatile option for us. So thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow for another episode.